Now let us start with the Spearman's rank correlation. British psychologist Charles Edward Spearman developed this method that was a Spearman rank correlation. So basic formula is R that is a capital R is equal to 1 minus 6 sigma capital D square over n cube minus n. You can also write n bracketed n square minus 1. So the, this formula is there when there is no such equality or tie in the ranks. But if there is a tie in the ranks then the formula will be changed and it will be 1 minus 6 big bracket sigma d square plus 1 over 12 m1 cube minus m plus 1 over 12 m2 cube minus m and so on number of time repetition of rank same rank is there it will be applied over there over n cube minus n so let us discuss case 1 over here when ranks are given already given then how we will calculate this Spearsman rank correlation in this case we are having ranks are given by two manager two employees let it be a to Z, J, there are employees and they have been ranked like 10, 2, 1, 4, 3, 6, 5 and so on. And ranking by manager 2 is 9 to the A, 4 rank to B, 2nd rank to C and uh, following us the ranks. Now what we will do, we will first write these managers, manager 1 as a R1 and manager 2 as a R2. So R1 is mentioned over here and R2 is mentioned. So how to calculate D? It is a R1 minus R2. So 10 minus 9 it is a 1. 2 minus 4 it is a minus 4. Minus 2. 1 minus 2 it is a minus 1 and so on we have calculated D. After cap calculating this capital D, we will square it. Square of 1 is 1, minus 2 square is 4, minus 1 square is 1, 1 square is 1 and 2 square 4 and so on. And total sigma D square is 14. Now applying the formula, capital R that is a Spearman rank correlation is equal to 1 minus 6 sigma d square over n cube minus n. So as we know these are 10 observation. So total was a 14 of d square 1 minus 6 into d square total that is a 14 over 10 cube minus 10. After calculating it is a 84 over 990. So 990 we have taken LCM and that is 906 over 990 that is 0 0.915 which shows high degree of positive correlation. So this was a method when already ranks are given. Suppose we are not having ranks then what should be done? Only observation or marks are there. Suppose judge 1 has given scores instead of giving ranks to the different candidate judge 1 has given score 92 89 87 86 83 and so on and judge 2 has given uh, scores like that 86 83 91 so first of all we will convert these numbers these scores into ranks so we can use ascending order or descending order for it. So here we are applying ascending order. But whatsoever is done for the judge 1, the same thing should be done for judge 2 also. So here we are applying for both judges. That is the ascending order. First of all, pick a 
least item that is a 50 50 we have given one rank then it is a 53 we have given second rank then 63 so like that we have given the rank to judge one scores from smallest to highest that is in ascending order now same formula should be applied for judge 2 for judge 2 minimum number is that is 37 we have given rank 1 then it is a 52 like that we have given these scores also in the ranks now R1 is calculated R2 is there R1 minus R2 that is a D1 and square of it is 1 here gap is 2 and we have scared it and we have calculated 4 8 and 10 is having gap of 2 we are having square of it like that we have calculated sigma d square now apply this in the formula and when we are applying this in the formula it is a 1 minus 6 sigma d square over n cube minus n so 1 minus 6 sigma d is 44 and n is these are 10 observation we have taken 10 cube minus 10 that is again 990 so 264 1 minus 264 over 990 that is a 0 0.733 it is also positive relation and that is a high degree high degree positive correlation positive correlation now coming to the next when we are having rep that is a repetition what should be done suppose we are having numbers like applicants are there and they are having they are in the number a b c d e f g and h and they have scored in accounts 15, 20, 28, 12, 40, 60 like that they have scored marks in accountancy now see here there are two numbers which are repeated in the accounts marks that is a 20 and again 20 so here there is a tie so equal ranks or tie of the ranks is here second tie is in the stat marks in the statistics 40 30 50 30 so 30 is rep repeated 20 10 30 again 30 is repeated that is a thricely 30 is there and 20 is twicely so here there are we are having uh, that is the doubling and tripling of any number so how it should be handled in the spearman rank correlation so first of all we will pick smallest number that is in the accounts marks we will give rank 1 to that that is a 12 for 12 we are putting 1 so 12 is scored by D so we have given 1 rank so we are applying the ascending order methodology over here second is 15 15 is we are giving rank 2 then after 15 we are having third rank for B and G so third and fourth rank are both covered by B and G so third rank and fourth rank so divided by 2 we got 3.5 so B will got 3.5 and same time G will also get 3.5 rank. So fourth rank and third rank are already given to B and G. Now come to fifth rank. Fifth rank will be obtained by C because C is having 28 marks. So fifth rank. So third and fourth are given to both B and G that is a 3.5 to both next is we will calculate 
रैंक नंबर सिक्स रैंक नंबर सिक्स इज स्कोर्ड बाय ई सेवन रैंक इज स्कोर्ड बाय एफ एंड लास्ट रैंक एट इज स्कोर्ड बाय दैट इज एप्लीकेंट एच सो दीज आर एट पर्सन्स एंड दे हैव बीन allotted like that rank in the r1 case now take a take it to the stat marks so minimum marks over here is 10 so we will allow this number 1 to f then second rank is there second rank is to be given to 20 that is E. Now third rank should be given to B or D or G. So third rank, fourth rank, and fifth rank. So these three ranks are there, which will be scored by B, D, and G because they are having same marks. So what we will do? We will divide it by three. So that is average is four. So four is there. We will allow B to give four. Then D will also get four, and G will also get four. Now three, four, five rank allotted, and after that sixth rank will be taken by A. Seventh rank will be taken by C, and. last eight rank is taken by that is h now we will calculate d and after d we will square it so gap is of 4 and 4 square is 16 gap is of 0.5 and square is 0.25 gap is of 2 and square is 4 Gap is of three, and that is a nine. Gap is of four; it will be sixteen. Gap is six, so that is a thirty-six. Gap is of zero point five; it is zero point two five. Then gap is of zero; square of it is also zero. So total sigma d square will be eighty-one point five zero. Now apply this in the formula. How we will calculate? We will one get one minus six big bracket eighty one point five zero plus one over twelve. Now what should be done? Here it is twicely repeated. So twicely repeated two q minus two plus one over twelve. Third, second, you uh, tie was there. One, two, three. So three q minus three. No, uh, nothing is there. Any other repetition is not there. So we will close this bracket. Now under to that, it is n q. That is, we are having n as a eight. Eight q minus eight. so we will calculate it it will be 1 minus 6 bracket 81.5 so 8 minus 2 it is a 6 it will be 0.5 uh 27 minus 3 it is a 24 divide by 12 it is 2 so bracket close over it will be 8 cube that will be 504 and it will be equal to 1 minus 6 into 80 to 84 over 504 so it will be 1 minus 504 over 
it will be 1 minus 1 equal to 0 so here it is no correlation no correlation because it is 0 so that's way we will calculate tie ranks in the such a manner thank you